Hey guys, Ranch here, bringing us a of commentary. This is going to be the first set in Group H of the Run 32 of the Hana Dai 2 MSL. This is going to be between Stats and Shuttle on Fighting Spirit. We're going to have Stats at the upper left-hand corner as the brown Protoss player. That means we're going to have Shuttle at the bottom left-hand corner as the, what is that, red Protoss player. So PvP group coming at you guys. Going to be lots of PvP action. Uh, some people probably expecting some upsets. Now on the other end of the spectrum we have the two players playing that I think players are expecting a little bit more from, expecting a little bit more action from and, ex and you know overall are rooting for but we're going to see what's going to happen here. 39, 40, 41, sinking purposes. Uh, I don't know why but it feels like it's been a while since I cast a PvP and I know that's not true. Uh, there have been some PvPs, some very nice PvPs in fact in this group already, in uh, this round of 32 already but Maybe it's just been a while, I don't know. feels that way sometimes. And uh, sometimes I don't really know what to expect out of a PvP because back in the old days, when I still walked, you know, when I still didn't need a cane. <laughs> yeah, back in my day, I guess. It's strange being saying that, but back in my day, especially just before I started casting these, when I started watching, I will, you know, uh, PvPs were shuttles, reavers, Goons. Done. That was it. You had shuttles, you had reavers, and you had dragoons, and that was it. And we were happy with that, damn it. We didn't need no hot Templars. We didn't need no anything else. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Stat's gonna get a little bit lucky to start off. I think he actually scattered in the right direction while Shuttle uh, went cross position with his probe, so it's gonna, depending on where he goes after that, whether he sends out a second probe or not, could take him a little while to uh, ca uh, to uh, counter scout stats. Now, of course, one of the more popular things to go for, aside from a uh, Goon Reaver Heavy, is of course going for some DT rushes, or not necessarily rushes, even just DT abilities. Basically, start off with some DTs, hope you get lucky, try to pick off a probe or two, or ten rather. And then just macro up and get your goon army, um, and hope that you did enough economic damage, and that you can, you know, fight back his reaver in time for an economic lead for your economic lead to kick in. So that's how it sometimes gets complicated. And this first prison view stayed for an age. Kind of complicated sometimes because, of course, players when play they sometimes change their color palette so that they themselves are teal and their opponents are red. It's some players that for that some players that's just an automatic. You, you do. You build your first worker, you uh, do your split, and then you instantly change your color, or I assume that's the way it goes. But gateway core to start off for both players is going to be seeing some zealots. Oh, and yeah, stats gets probe through. I thought he sent out a probe much earlier on. I thought he, I saw him send down a probe numbers, but apparently he didn't. Maybe he actually went cross position when I thought he went for the lower left hand, but he got that probe in really quickly. Right past the Zealot, didn't even have to do any sort of trickery, just right past that on the opposite side. Actually, interestingly enough, uh, Stats has one Zealot at the back, which and only one on the ramp, so uh, still managing to block the probe with it though, getting his range on a course. So I think this is actually going to be more standard play. And we're going to see whether uh, the robotics facilities are going to be the next buildings to follow up, and Stats being, yeah, just running around with that probe inside. And one of the things I feel I don't see as much lately as I did in the old days were uh, manor pylons. Uh, just, I don't know, I just, I've seen some PvPs and I don't see as many manor pylons than I used to. Also because PvP is a little bit different these days. You get to see sometimes some other stuff. Robotics are still going to come up for shuttle. Still don't see any additional tech for stats. Let's see what he decides to go for. Wondering whether he's actually thinking of expanding before anything else. But yeah. Um, right now, it's it's more of a it's a little bit more zealot heavy. And stats is gonna go for an expo, I think, or actually, yeah, he's gonna go for an expo before anything else. Then he's gonna work on his uh, on his. Uh, pardon me. Then he's gonna work on his. Tag couple dragoons. Are they able to? Oh no! Probe spots the probe spots the nexus. So deal for shell now. Gonna be to go out there try to do some economic harassment. He's gonna have his reavers way ahead. Um. Hopefully for him he doesn't get observers first because he really want might want might want to you know just get some reavers out there wants to go out there and do some harassment. Um, another possibility would be just plop down a bunch of gateways and go for full on all in. But no, he's just gonna uh, get his robotics up and get a counter 
uh, expansion, I guess. Just yeah, getting his own expansion. It's going to be a little bit later, but he is going to have a tech advantage to start things off. As the game goes on, it's going to become a non-factor. But he does get his robotics facility, robotic support bay up alongside a, uh, another gateway. He does have his goon range on the way, so he's going to be able to get some reavers out there to do some harassment. Uh, Stats probe, of course, no longer in there, but he did get all the scouting information he needed at the time when he did. Still no expansion on the way for him. Adding in that gateway, probably waiting just on some additional resources before he can do that. <laughs> Three gateways on the opposite side. So for now, uh, Stats apparently in the meanwhile just going to focus on getting some decent Dragoon production going before he goes for any sort of Dragoons. Uh, uh, for any sort of Reavers, I'm sorry, or Shuttles. But of course, this could come out well for him because he's going to have a larger Dragoon count. And if he manages to snipe that Reaver, snipe that shuttle as it comes in for harassment, or if it comes in alongside him, if he manages to snipe that shuttle, that's going to be it. That's his his advantage will become uh, very large. He'll be able to get his own Reavers out there in time to hold up the numbers. And just the fact that shuttle uh, came in behind economically and came in ahead in tech is going to become a non-factor. Uh, let's see whether he's actually going to move out with one Reaver and one Goon, actually sending his Goons downwards right now, just waiting for an initial, initial Reaver. And I was just going to be question: is he going to go for some harassment, or is he actually going to go and try to break the front with some Goons, just try to go for army? He does have six Dragoons along, and a couple of Zealots moving down. Um, no, that was stats, I'm sorry. But he does have some Dragoons out there, I think seven at this point, a couple of Zealots alongside to support. Is going to have a Dragoon and a Reaver in there, so... Apparently, actually thinking of staying defensively right now. Stats people are actually going to move in with some Dragoons. Quite a few numbers of Dragoons coming in trying to snipe him. But a Reaver Scarab hits quite a large number of his Dragoons. So that's going to force Stats back. No shuttle actually. Uh, sh uh, no shuttle for shuttle. Uh, he should actually, interesting enough, that he kept the shuttle behind. Could have actually moved in closer with his Reaver to try to get another ad an additional Scarab off of that. But just with that Reaver, one single Scarab helped him fight that back. So now it's just going to be a question how he decides to go with his second Reaver going to come out. Is he going to just uh, go out with the army, going to try to engage stats on the ground and win that way? Or is he going to try to do some economic harassment? Because the natural expo particularly of stats is extremely vulnerable. There are no Dragoons back there. Observatory now on the way. So Reavers for stats are going to be extremely late. He's going to focus on getting a, Dragoo, uh, a larger Dragoon count than Shuttle has. And he is going to have a larger Dragoon count. So if Shuttle wants to move out and engage... Uh, goons to goons with those reaver supports. He might want to do that now. Try to run the run with this. Run with the fact that he has two reavers in there to support him. He might still win this. He is gonna go in there. Couple of reavers in there. Couple of scarabs gonna go off. Not hitting anything. Or actually, I think one of the scarab hits one of the dragoons. Yeah. But just it's just gonna push stats to the right hand side. Still dragoons to the ground. Reavers gonna come out. Try to get some more scarabs off. Every time those reavers come down, stats forced to retreat a little bit more. Just has to be very careful not to leave his shuttle behind and not get it snapped. Now some gonna be some dragoons on the left side. There is gonna be open up a slight uh, positioning for stats. They might have a capability to box him. Mean, gonna pr pull the probes off the line. Reavers gonna come off. There are some dragoons might be coming off the line. Oh scarabs killing a lot of those dragoons. Killing a lot of probes. Dragoons gonna come out from the back and try to get some sniping done. Forcing, focusing down on the river, some decent micro there from.